Hey everyone, this is Erin Making Sense, and I'm here to share with you a candle that I found yesterday while I was shopping at Marshall's. I was not candle shopping, but I know me, and before I went in, I said, one candle only. And I shocked myself because I stuck to my promise and kept my word. As you can see, this is a village candle, and I know a lot of you know of village candles, and I do as well, but this is the first village candle I saw like this it's a pillar style and it has like a shrink wrap design around the whole entire um jar and it's a sunflower on the front as you can see because the scent is mandarin sunflower i think i got that focused in there we go mandarin sunflowers and those of you that know me know i'm not into floral scents at all and i'm not picking up much of the sunflower I get mostly the mandarin. I'm really into citrus scents and lemony scents and whatnot. And this is nice. It's giving off a nice, decent scent throw. Not too strong, but not weak. And as you see, it comes with this, with this like um, flat lid. Also, it's really nice. I like it. I'm glad I got it. It was $7.95. They also had another one that was smaller for $5.95. But I just decided for two more dollars to get the larger one and I'm really glad I did it was a toss-up between this and there was a Yankee and it was called something beach I've never saw one like that but I might go back and get it what drew me to this one was the wooden wick I I just have never saw a village candle with a wooden wick and if anyone knows if you're supposed to trim wooden wooden wicks or not can you please comment below and let me know because I'm not sure I do, have, I do have a wick trimmer, but I'm sure this wouldn't work for the wooden wick, so please comment below. And if you do see this candle, I suggest you get it. It's a very nice scent. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and have a great night, everyone. Bye.